Hello and welcome to today's episode of Sum Up Sunday. The game in the background is, of course, The Binding of Isaac. New episodes of the second year of Isaac every Monday and Friday. In the news this time, it's been quite sad, unfortunately. Uh, a great man uh, by the name of Ryan Davis, co-founder of Giant Bomb, along with... Um, oh god, forgetting names now, Jeff Gersman. How did I forget Jeff Gersman? I don't know. I don't, I don't even know. Um, he's passed away. He was... 34 years old, and um, just days after getting married, which is which is a real kick in the teeth. I mean, think about the family that's been left behind. Ignore the fact that the entire internet is crying about this because he was a great man and influence on on many people, including myself. But just take a second to think about the family. They've had this time that was supposed to be one of the happiest times of a person's life when they can come together with someone they love and know that they're going to spend at least the next couple of years together except they didn't they spent days together and his unexpected death took what was supposed to be one of the happiest moments of anyone's life and turned it into one of the worst I think that's that's absolutely horrible and our thoughts have to go out to the family at this time, but as I said before, huge parts of the internet are crying over this. Why? Well, because this man, through Giant Bomb and various other web websites, including Batman, Batman, Batman.com, woo, has helped influence and shape the lives of many, many thousands of people. I mean, the um, the Giant Bombcast was a absolutely fantastic podcast. Every every time, I can't remember a bad one. And his jokes, his nature, who he was, was what made it that. If it, it sounds stupid, but if he hadn't been there, it just wouldn't have been the same. I know that sounds obvious, but it's true nonetheless. And he's been described as quite an acerbic character, and from what I've seen, yes, I'd agree with that, but I'd also agree with the straight statement that those that knew him never felt unloved. They always knew where they stood, and he's going to be missed by a great many people, both on and offline. Uh, the death was uh, announced on GiantBomb.com. Uh, they didn't announce the cause of death and I'm still not aware of it. If it's been announced please let me know in the comments below. Um, but he died on the 3rd. It took a few days for them to announce the death. Um, maybe they didn't know, maybe they didn't want to just let it out so quickly. Maybe they wanted to give time to the grieving widow or the family, I don't know. But it's been over a week now since he passed away, and so I know there's going to be somebody who's going to complain that it doesn't belong on a weekly news show, and they can go shove it. And this was a great man who passed away unexpectedly at at a very bad time. I suppose there's no really good time to die, but having just gotten married. Wow, that's that's horrible. Um, yeah, accidental D6 use there. I'm not paying attention. I'm really not. Um, I've tried to record this video several times, but um, <laughs> found myself unable to because this is a man I very much looked up to for a great, great many years, and to know that I'm never going to see the, him on the giant bombcast again that I'm never going to run into him at a convention or read an article he wrote. That's that's shocking to me. I know it shouldn't be, I mean but it is. So And that's made making this episode quite quite difficult. Um, but moving on with it. The um, Matthew Rory wrote who was product manager at Giant Bomb, um, said that um, obviously we're all stunned over here. Ryan was a good friend to all of us. 
It's odd to remember that for someone who can be so acerbic at times, and despite him knowing that, despite knowing him for almost a decade, I honestly don't recall ever being mad at him. And I think that says quite a lot about who he was. He was someone who could be at times quite acerbic, could be very scathing with his humour, but at the same time, you knew. I don't know if I've said this, but you knew where you stood with him. He was the sort of person who you, you just weren't mad at. You, you aren't mad at him for his joke. You're mad at you for making enough of a pillock out of yourself that he was. They made the joke out of you. It was never him. It was always, if he made a joke out of you, it was always down to you. And it was always a good joke. It never out of taste. It's hard to believe that someone so influential in the gaming industry could be gone, but he is, and that's, to me, I know, I know I'm rambling a bit, but that's, it's actually an opportunity, because uh, there are a great many people who have been inspired by him to whatever degree, and at the risk of sounding insensitive, which I hope I'm not, um, this is now an opportunity for those people and um, the people who are willing to step in and try and make up for the loss. I mean, no number of people ever could. He was he was a giant in the gaming industry and that was not a weight joke if you think it was, get out. But no, num no number of people could fill the gap he's left. But this is still presenting an opportunity for people to try and in the, the world the way it is it's an opportunity people need to take and I can't wait to see what sort of people what sort of entertainment we're gonna get out of this because people are stepping up to the mark now people want to be the next Brian Davis obviously not passing on so young but they want to influence people in the same way, they want to be well loved in the same way for sometimes much the same thing. And that has created a whole new branch of gaming news and of entertainment. And I can't wait to see where that goes, I can't wait to see how that develops. I think it's just going to be absolutely fantastic to see you know, what the world post Ryan will be like because it's going to be a damn sight better than it was before Ryan, I can tell you that much but I, it sounds weird to think that someone's death could have that sort of positive aspect to it but again it's about opportunity isn't it and his, his death has unfortunately created a gap that people will fill and these people will bring different talents to the floor so rather than thinking Ryan's gone I prefer to think of it as Ryan's not gone so much as improved everything else uh, maybe at a, co at a hell of a cost I mean it cost us Ryan, but I think the gaming industry has, will forever be improved because of him, and we should thank him for that. I mean, of course, he's passed on, he's not going to care if we thank him or not, but that's no excuse not to. And he's just, he has been such an influence to so many people. That just needs recognising, and it needs recognising that the gaming industry, not just its past and its present, but its future, has been influenced by this man so heavily that we can't allow ourselves to forget him, or what, or what he's done, or who he's influenced. And as soon as I'm done with this boss room, I'm going to stop for a second because there's a quote I'd quite like to read. It's called, um, you want a physicist at your funeral. Uh, which I think is a fantastic thing to keep in mind again once the room's done um, I could pause but you know I don't want to 
spend my memorial video to Ryan Davis by getting killed. It, the irony and that would just <laughs> would just be too much. I'd just have to I'd have to give up on this on this video. This is easily my seventh or eighth attempt at doing this and this is an old an old hero, so this is a man who knew what he wanted to do in his life and damn well did it. The um, quote's by Aaron Freeman. It's called, You want a physicist at your funeral. You want a physicist at your fu to speak at your funeral. You want the physicist to tell your grieving family about the conservation of energy, so you will understand that your energy has not died. You want the physicist to remind your sobbing mother about the first law of thermodynamics, that no energy gets created in the universe, and that none is destroyed. You want your mother to know that all of your energy, every vibration, every BTU of heat, every wave of every particle that was ever her beloved child remains with her in this world. You want the physicist to tell your weeping father that amid the energies of the cosmos, you gave as good as you got. At one point, you want you hope the physicist would step down from the pulpit and walk to your broken-hearted spouse there in the, pul in the pew and tell them that every photon that ever bounced off your face, all the particles whose paths were interrupted by your smile, by the touch of your hair, hundreds of trillions of particles, have raced off like children, their ways forever changed by you. And as your widow rocks in the arms of her beloved family, you may tell the phys you may, may the physicist let them know that all the photons that ever bounced from who you were and gathered in the particle detectors that are their eyes those photons created within her constellations of electromagnetically charged neutron neurons whose energy will go on forever. You can hope that your family will examine the evidence and satisfy themselves that science is sound and that they'll be comforted to know that your energy is still around. That according to the laws of conservation of energy, not one bit of you is gone. You're just a bit less orderly. And I think that sums it up quite nicely because he's not gone in no sense is he gone okay the specific set of neurons that we knew as Ryan Davis is gone but his influence will go on forever even after our species has disappeared there will be photons and all sorts of other kinds of particles which have forever, for, until the end of time, been influenced by his smile. And I think, it's, it's, while the same is true for all of us, I think that shouldn't, we shouldn't let that diminish the majesty of that thought. That one smile literally alters the universe for all eternity. It may not seem like a lot, but that is an eternal impact on something as large as the universe. I think that's an absolutely fantastic thought and that you're never gone. Not in any real sense, you're just a bit less structured. But you're still there. It may not be you, but everything that was you is still influencing the universe. And with that, I am going to end this video. It's not particularly long, I'm afraid. Um, I can't do a long video on this. I'm sorry. Um, but with this, I just hope that people realise that this great man and his influence will continue on even, if, even after his death for all eternity. And that while, yes, it's good. It's okay to be sad that he's gone. It's okay to be a little shocked. I mean, 34, he was he was quite young. And so soon after a wedding. I mean, on his honeymoon, but his influence uh, is not only positive, but his influence is going to alter not just the gaming industry, but the entire universe forever. And uh, every person who ever met Ryan Davis is going to have been influenced by that and because of who he was the gaming industry will forever be changed in a 
in a much better direction. It is going to be a much better place to work and to follow because of him and people like him, people who will step up to the mark, who will try and fill the gap left by this great man. But on on Omnius, uh, this is Sum Up Sunday. I'm sorry it wasn't longer. Um, new videos every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday, and whenever the hell I feel like it. Uh, links to my Facebook and Twitter down below, and link to Ryan Davis's giant bomb personal profile down below. Have a good week.